Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. This is episode four, season three. Next to me is Tim. My name is Peter. And first things first, there's going to be a live Q&A. Yeah, so by next week, we will be in South Africa for the Eshtagabad World Tour. And this one will be a nice Q&A because we are going to be on the European time zone, more or less. So we will be uh, hosting this on March the 18th, on Friday. 7.30 p.m. GMT plus two. So if you are in Europe, that's going to be 6.30 p.m. on that day for you guys. Very cool. So let's go straight to the first topic in this case, uh, OC Esports competitions. Stay going strong. The Rookie Rumble, 282 participants, now controlled from the UK, is in the lead. Um, we also have Voulez-vous one to win uh, from the USA. I'm not sure I pronounced it right. <laughs> and Spillo from Italy. So um, the Rookie Rumble, a nice competition. But if you upgrade it to Novice Nimble, there's also some cool stuff going on there. We have 27 teams participating in that one. There's always five stages. I let you guys check it out. Overclockers, um, overclock.net is a first right now. Hardware Ready OC official team from Italy is second. And overclockers.com from the USA is third. Another competition which you guys might want to check out if you're into old hardware and socket A especially, if you still have that at home or at your grandparents' place. Um, 3D Mark 01, W Prime 32M, and here we have classicplatforms.com. Uh, from the USA in the lead, we have also formoverclocking.ro. So first time we see those guys in the top, that's really cool. And uh, Team Hungary that had a little meeting uh, last week, which we are going to talk about a little bit later. Very cool. Uh, another competition that's currently going on is the Real Bench Beta Challenge. So in short, uh, together with ASUS, we've uh, we've worked on an, on an integration in the HW Submission API in the Real Bench benchmark. Real Bench is a, a benchmark that ASUS or ROG team developed internally. It's quite popular in their forums. They have so that since many years, right? Yeah. And now the uh, application actually has a submission function to HWBot and an integration even with the competition engine. So when you open the application, you get a sort of a small uh, local of the competition and then you can check out the rankings and submit your score to it. So we have a beta challenge going on. Uh, check it out. Give some feedback on how the integration works. We already have some uh, some people giving nice feedback. So yeah, definitely so join that one. feedback on HIBOT forums and also ROG forums. Yeah, correct. Um, next up, the G Skill OC World Cup is back. Uh, the first qu live qualifier, uh, sorry, first online qualifier is running right now. Uh, the benchmarks here are uh, DDR4 memory clock, obviously, and then 3 Mark 01 and 3 Mark 11 with the IGP enabled. So you can use Skylake processors, G Skill memory, and uh, that's basically it. Those are the two requirements. If you qualify, if you w if you're finishing in the top six, you qualify for the live qualifier at. Computex. You have to fly out yourself, make it, make sure that you have a hotel to stay, otherwise you have to sleep in the street. But if you win the live competition at Computex, you go home with 10,000 US dollars. Mm -hmm. Even fifth place gets uh, 1,000 US dollars already. So it's sort of worth the gamble if you're if you're confident enough to show up on a live overclocking, yeah, overclocking competition. Yeah. So I saw that there was a news about Core i3 being allowed for the qualifiers. Right? Yeah, Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, any Skylake, that's not a Xeon. Cool, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Uh, currently in the lead is Dig, D Dig underscore DE from Germany. Uh, in second place is Cassitea from India. Very difficult to pronounce that nickname. In third place, Sweet from Argentina. Sweet. And then last but not least, we have the uh, the Gigabyte March OC uh, Madness competition, which is again, uh, as Gigabyte's usually been doing, split up into Ambient and Extreme. So both have their own benchmarks mm -hmm. and their own, own rankings. The winner of each of the categories goes home with 500 US dollars. And there's a couple of Z170X Gaming 3 motherboards up for grabs as well. So definitely check out that competition. It starts on March 12th and finishes on April 11th. Yeah, and for all of you guys, for the competition we still haven't mentioned, there's still the Pro C Championship going on. So if you guys want to see some really awesome high profile overclocking ac action, check it out. There's also the um, Challenger division. So if you're into participating in the different divisions for the type of hardware you have, we have the Skylex 5G Tweaker Challenge as well that is still very popular. Uh, check it out, OC Sports. Cool, very cool. Let's move on to a next topic. This is a this is a topic that I find personally very interesting. Yeah. The AMD ex, uh, Excavator Microarchitecture. So AMD, in short, launched a new microarchitecture which is designed for mobile. But they have they they have one specific uh, SKU for the FM2 Plus platform, which is the Athlon X4845 
processor. Yeah. It runs at 3.8 gigahertz stock, 65 watts, and it is super efficient in Super Pi 32M. So for, for an AMD chip. For an AMD <laughs> chip. That is something you always have to add to it. Um, currently, not people are trying to look for it, and it's not really that available in retail yet. I've checked Guanghua here in Taipei as well, and no one even knew about the chip, so that oh, was sort I, of that's disappointing. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, Lucky New from Indonesia uh, went to a local store there and he found the chip and he took one home, tried it out, and now he has the fastest AMD 5 gigahertz Super Pi 32M ever at 11 minutes and uh, 20 seconds approximately. Congratulations. Now, now, to put into perspective yes. how impressive this is, right? Compared to... For this <laughs> 11 minutes and 20 seconds, he used 4.14 gigahertz. The fastest AMD at 5 gigahertz before this was on the Kaveri microarchitecture, which was at 5 gigahertz, fully tuned memory, fully tuned Windows XP, 12 minutes and 17. Yeah, so that's almost, a good improvement, yeah. almost one minute faster with 860 megahertz less. So it's nice. Yeah, if only the chips were unlocked. That is. Unlocked and available. And available as yeah. well. But that might come, actually. There's a couple of other uh, tricks and, and, and things you need to know about the excavator uh, Athlonix 4845, but you can go to our forum. Flanker has a uh, mm -hmm. the thread dedicated to the excavator course, and there's uh, like 100 replies, and oh, nice. seems to be going quite well. So if you want to learn more about this particular chip, go there. And there's always the rookie rumble for AMD if you're into the starting yeah. scene. Try it out. We should yeah. add a Super Pi 32 m stage. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, other things that kept us busy, of course, the World Tour 2016. We will be, uh, like I said in the intro, in uh, South Africa next week. Um, so this one is going to be the second stop of the World Tour. Um, we confirmed all the partners actually today in a news post. Um, the competition is going to be split in two parts. Yeah, so again, just like in Brazil, we have an extreme competition and then we have an amateur competition. The amateur competition is tied to the amateur workshop. So yeah. once again, the typical world tour workshop kind of a layout, 30 minutes of explaining to you how overclocking works. And after 30 minutes, you we expect you to know what you're doing. And then you move on to an overclocking system where you have 30 minutes to get the highest score possible. The four amateurs with the highest scores among all the amateurs go to the amateur final and they can win a couple of cool prizes. And then on the extreme side of things, mm -hmm. we have a qualifier with uh, with XTU, SuperPy 32M and 3 Mark 11 physics, all limited to 5 gigahertz. So there is no need to bring your golden CPUs. Um, again, people who qualify there, the top four go to the, uh, yep, the extreme final. And then the winner of the extreme final grabs a ticket to the world championship at the end of the year. Ooh. And for all those who participate in my rank, there's some cool prizes by mm -hmm. the partners and sponsors of the event. So, of course, Seasonic PSUs, um, the same PSUs we actually use in the workshop in the competitions. So the P760 Watt uh, PSU. Uh, there's also some MSI motherboard because MSI joined that event for South Africa. So there's some uh, X powers uh, for the guys that are going to compete in the extreme competition, and there's also some carbon, um, so Z170A Pro Gaming carbon motherboards for the guys that are going to compete in the amateur competition. Uh, also, G-Scale joined the competition, uh, the partnership as well. So there's some cool Trident Z, uh, Trident Z or Trident Z, um, Trident Z memory kits <laughs> over there. Uh, it's some pretty good kits actually, right? 3466 uh, C16, if I'm not mistaken. I was promised they're very good overclockers as well, so I'm looking forward to seeing how cool. the overclockers deal with those. And Intel. CPUs. Yes, and Intel CPUs. So you actually, if you're in Cape Town and you've got nothing planned for the next weekend, if you're into getting a new rig, this might be just your chance. It's almost complete. Yeah. And there's also some cool bench table, which we are going to talk about during the live next week. So if you want to see what this is all about and the teasers we had online, check the live. All right, cool. So how about the tickets? There is still some left? Yeah, there's still some tickets left. Okay. Uh, um, how about Gamers Assembly, the next event in France, Europe? Uh, Gamers Assembly is uh, nearly beyond half sold out. So okay. if you guys, uh, you know, there's always the last people that wait the last minute. But if you guys are too many waiting for the last minute, well, it's going to be a little bit tough. Also, especially this year, MSI is joining as the title partner for this one. And this stop is becoming the MSI 2016 Europe MOA, right? Yeah. So... This is the MOA, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so really, yeah, it's going to be really cool. Uh, we have a big booth on the um, exhibitor area at Gamers Assembly, actually big, as big as the one we have in South Africa. And it's going to be a really cool, the same workshops. The MOA finals will be there on the booth on the day where all the gaming finals are happening as well. So it's going to be 
a lot of action and fun. We'll we'll announce the specifics on the ru the competition rules and the competition yeah. prizes. I think by the end of this week should be like come out tomorrow in a press tomorrow release. Um, for those who uh, are too lazy to read the press release, uh, read it anyway. But so there was going to be uh, a, a live final with eight people instead of four, yeah. and there's going to be uh, I heard some cash prizes for the MOA 2016 uh, winner one, two, and three. I think as well, and of course the winner of the MOA 2016 Europe also gets his ticket to the live championship. To the world championship. World championship. Yeah. Which but you would but it's like, live. Yes. It is live. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Last thing we have to talk about is the community overclocking events. Yeah, so uh, there's always uh, cool, uh, cool stuff going on everywhere. It's not just us. And uh, the Greek guys, uh, actually, last weekend or the week before that, I'm not so sure. Um, so they had a, a cool gathering in Greece. Uh, Sophos from Gigabyte was over there. He brought some motherboards with him, grabbed a few guys, even some old guys that we had not seen in quite a while. So Gibra, Hellas, Hypro 5, those legendary overclockers from back in the days. Where at that event? Uh, there's some cool pictures. I know Sophos did some uh, cool score with Phil and Firekiller. So. Quite a nice event. There's some pictures on the website. Uh, we'll post the link in the description below. Another event also in Europe was Hungary, the OC Gathering 2016. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so much a public event. They wanted to have a they, they I think they rented it was for a their small, team, yeah, for yeah, Team Hungary. They they rented a small room with some liquid nitrogen, but they made a very nice video about yeah, it. Yeah, the so video is really fun actually. Yep. So definitely <laughs> you should check that one out. Check this out. Um, so that's about it, I think. Yeah. But what happened? If you guys were up to something, send us the link because we can't see everything that's going on, especially if you do it in your little corner. Send us the pictures, send us the videos, and uh, if it's really cool, we just bring you on the LC show and you can tell everyone what was it about. Cool. All right, it's his outro, so we have to do an outro now. Next episode will be next week next during week. the live Q&A. So Friday, 7.30 p.m. GMT plus two, don't forget. And uh, we'll see you, of course, the whole weekend after that for the Ishabad World Tour. In All South right. Africa. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.